friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> you always was weak-minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane! Dutch wanted you dead! We all did! Well, I'm going after him next! I'll outlive all of you! Why, I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over! Stop playing games with me! No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Like hanging you for murder. Or confiscating all of your property. Like that little farm of yours. Or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. Where's my wife? Don't oh, forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity River. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group. Your group has, shall we say, been disbanded. <laughs> Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are doing well. Let's both try to ensure they stay that way.